Hi you guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be looking at the Thornton Township board meeting that was supposed to happen on the 28th, but none of the trustees showed up. So to start off, you know, we have Tiffany there early, which is really weird, okay? Because she's never there early. She's always late. Um, and then we have her turn around and kind of talk to the clerk, acting like they're talking about something they haven't already talked about. OK, and then the clerk's going to go off into the hallway for a couple of minutes, pretend that she tried to call the trustees. She comes back in, says the trustees aren't coming or they didn't answer the phone. And so in result, they don't have a quorum. And so Tiffany can't have the meeting. But do you think that deters Tiffany from talking? Do you think she just gets up and goes home? No, she uses this opportunity to put her narcissism on full display okay if there's one thing she can do she can talk for days and she will brag about herself and all the great and wonderful things that she does for Thornton Township all the wonderful things she does da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you guys you guys know like the Wizard of Oz because that's kind of how she plays like don't look behind the curtain okay don't pay attention to what I'm really doing just listen to what I'm saying um, over and over and all the things I repeatedly tell you that's the truth okay and the news is just fake news but you know what I found funny uh, despite as much as she likes to talk about the news she sure likes to put on a show okay just watch all right so as you can see there's no call so we will not be having an actual board meeting um, so as I stated before if you would like you can exit now because there's no meeting um, I am about to address some things uh, as the supervisor so many thank you it's so many issues guys and it's so much chaos and so much confusion and people are all got an opinion sometimes you have to just sit still and listen to the other side that way you can decipher what's right what's wrong like i said 20 percent only knew about thorn township now over 80 percent know thorn township exists i grew up in this community and i want to see it thrive and under my leadership it has been thriving we are in surpluses when we hit deficits for the last 17 years but y'all not researching that or putting them numbers up that's the stuff y'all need to talk about, but we're not talking about that because everything's about a negative uh, smear campaign, as I've said before. This is politics. This is what's going on right now. And everybody want to sit here and just try to down a person that y'all can't feed because at the end of the day, I'm all about the people. The people see me boots on the ground 24-7. When y'all sleep and y'all talking about me, I'm helping somebody, even the hateful. Y'all come to my door. I'm helping you with your life, your gas, your water, your mortgage, your rent, helping you bury your loved one. So you guys, there she goes again, talking about burying people's loved ones. I don't know what her obsession is, you guys, about saying that, but it's not a good look, okay? It's just not a good look. And I mentioned this on my last video, and one of the commenters said, it's not the responsibility of the government, I think that's what they said, to bury people's loved ones. Like, why would the city or the government, you know, be doing all that? That's kind of weird. And it, I just find it weird that she keeps mentioning that, like, just stop already quit saying you're gonna help bury people it's not a good look all right okay but you guys as you could see full narcissism mode and she's just going to continue you know she already told the people look it's not a meeting so this is now the tiffany henyard show so either you can leave or you can sit there and you can listen to me rant and rave on and on about how great i am um how i made history and people are hating blah 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 and she even told the people that she wasn't going to be responding to them uh there will be no comments there won't be anything it'll just be me addressing you guys to tell you what's going on in thornton township um when as, we address as you, you guys, as you guys not just stating what it is it's not a meeting so if you want to leave you can leave which I feel is really not in the spirit of leadership, okay? Because that's what she's always claiming she's about, right? She ran to be a leader. She's the leader, listen to her. But yet you're not even willing to answer questions when the people are right there in front of you. If you had everything in order, you wouldn't be afraid to answer the questions of the residents 
who you claim you're there for okay like she said even her haters you know she's there for i'm helping somebody even the hateful so if you have haters in the crowd why don't you address them and confront them full on if you're so confident in what you've been doing and that you've been flying straight something tells me because she's not confident and she's constantly over talking people to avoid being asked the real questions the questions that people who are not team tiffany will ask about what's really going on behind the scenes all right, you guys, let's continue. Please. So this is me making my statement. So if you don't want to hear it, close the door. I'm even helping you buy your medicine for those that need. So these are the things that we create here, but I wish the news would advertise that like they advertise the hate in our communities. But now I have all the hope in the world because now I never came across that I can get help with a service. And that number is 708-596-6040. Again, 708-596-6040 for here at Thorne Township. You must be a Thorne Township resident if you need any help with any of the services I just named. You guys, you know what this sounds like. This sounds like campaigning on the tax dollars. <laughs> you guys so if you don't know tiffany henry used to be a trustee okay and she would do a lot of questionable things that were kind of like mixing her personal life with her position as a trustee and some things that really stuck out to me and why i was reminded of this because you know she's reading off this phone number and that was a tactic she would constantly use as a trustee to be more relatable to the residents and say hey you can call me at blah 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 let me go ahead and play that clip and then we'll get on to what i'm really trying to get to so please reach out and i'm giving you that number again 708-297-6859 um and my cell number which i used to always give i know you know by heart now 708-297-6859 again that number is 708-297-6859 my phone number 708-297-6859 again that number 708-297-6859 and you can reach out to anybody on the board but i do show up and show out for the residents so please reach out um my cell number a lot of you do call me i'm gonna give it and you know i'm gonna give it like eight times today 708-297-6859 again that cell number is 708 708- 297-6859. Please protect one another. Thank you. End of my report, ma'am. No, Tiffany, thank you for allowing us to constantly look back and travel through time with you as a trustee and see some of the hypocrisies and some of the things that went on before you got into your positions as mayor of Dalton and supervisor of Thornton Township. Because you guys, there were a lot of red flags going on. So this next clip I'm going to show is of Tiffany Hanier as a trustee at one of the board of trustee meetings in Dalton. And she's actually being called out by trustee Ed Steve on a controversy that she was involved in that even hit the news. I know it's hard to believe, right? Mm -hmm. But if you've been following this little drama for quite some time now, you know that Tiffany Hanier used to be a landlord and she used to rent to a section eight tenant. Long story short, she was deemed a slumlord, the house was deemed unlivable, and the lady had to move out and move into a hotel with her daughter. Well, the hotel had to be paid for somehow, right? Let's rewind a little bit more and let's take a look at this clip of Tiffany Henyard being called out on some questionable things regarding her position as a trustee, mingling of funds, things of that nature. Let's watch. One more thing I want to I asked a question earlier. The price that we paid to let that lady stay in a hotel room from that moldy house that Trustee Henyard manages or owns, the price was $540 that we paid to the house her for a month. So what's the process of getting that money back? It was for, the regular price was 350 a week that the hotel wanted to charge. They said it would discount it since it was an emergency situation. It was trying to help the young lady. They charged us $270 a week. We paid for two weeks. And so, it was, there was someone else that paid for two weeks for her. Okay, so what, what's the process of getting that money back to the village? That money was put out. But, but Trustee Henry would be interested in paying that money back to the village. A village attorney's uh, no, out of order. Where's the time yet? A village attorney suggested that we pursue uh, those costs uh, um, to trust the unit. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to know. Okay. Uh, and for the record, y'all do know this is a government meeting. The, this has nothing to do with civil matter. Just for the record, Mayor K. Okay. For the record, uh, anytime you got public money getting used, uh, we have a right to address public money being used. 
Mm -hmm. And that's why she didn't like trusty Ed Steves because he called her out on her madness, okay? Obviously, she used her position and she persuaded people, the mayor probably, because she could turn on her charm with him, um, probably because she's younger and, you know, whatever the case may be. But she was able to get the village to pay for the hotel for the lady that she screwed over. And then now she wants to say, for the record, this is a government meeting. Um, well, for the record, you're commingling your little personal life with government funds. So, you know, it's just a constant hypocrisy and she hates being called out and she held that against him. In fact, you guys, I know she held it against him because this meeting occurred in 2019. And this next clip I'm going to show you is from 2020, where she tried to call him out on something that happened when he was holding a weight loss challenge for the residents. Let's watch. Go ahead. Um, also, I want to discuss this $1,000 weight loss challenge that I had at the uh, Melanie Fitness Center. We had a $1,000 weight loss challenge, and it was the intentions of it was to make the community healthy and to get memberships at the Melanie Fitness Center. And so when we did it, we put it out there and we promoted it that way. We collected $35. We collected $35 from four people, which equals $140. We had actually 13 new members at $65. And remember, that's 900. That's total with that. That's $985 that we raised for the weight loss challenge. So this money that we pay for this $1,000 weight loss challenge is it was raised, and with the village house is just paid the extra $15. Okay, Mayor, I got some questions. Go ahead. I guess I'll start with um, the weight loss challenge. You said that you made how much off of it? 985. 985 for the first one was two, correct? Yes. So 985 for both? Or no, the first, the first one we, we covered that expense. That was that was two, three months ago. We're, so dealing, we're dealing with the second one right now. How much would, okay, but well how much did you make off the first one? We made, we made enough to cover the whole thing, the first one. So you made uh, even thousand dollars? Yeah, we made. I think we made a little bit more than that, and we we got about fifteen new members. The person who put it on is Sadiq. If you have any questions for him, he could talk I don't. about I why got we did it. Questions for you, so that's why I'm asking because you're just, over it. I just told you. So I know, but I'm asking. Is this no fight? I'm just asking my questions so I have an understanding. So it was a thousand dollars that you said you made on the first challenge. He said a little bit over a thousand. Okay, a little bit over a thousand, and we paid out a thousand, correct? Yes. Okay, now the second one, which is now, yes. we made 985. Yes. And we need to pay out 1,000. Yes. So she haven't received any money, any funds? No, because we have to vote on it. What was that? We have to vote on it. Okay, okay, this is where I'm at with it. Whenever we do some as a board or a body or a, or a member here, we should get approval before we launch it. It should never be afterwards when a person is upset or mad because they didn't get their money. Whenever we want the board support, half the time we say we don't have the funds. So my thing with that is if we didn't have the funds to do this, why did you put it on and put the village stamp on it? It was you pushing it so you should pay for it is how I feel about it. It's, I don't think it should come out the village. Hold on. I don't think it should come out the village funds because as you can see, home with disposal, all these things things we owe for. If y'all not making the money to replenish it, it doesn't make sense for the village to cover the expense. I guess you didn't hear nothing I said then. I heard what you just said. We raised enough money to pay it. Did you hear me say that? Okay, so normally when you put on something, you're supposed to make money to profit and make money to dish out. So you didn't make enough to cover the expense. That's what it sounds like to me. We, we were short $15. And what, what, when I say we got 13, almost 20 new members, and that was the whole point of the whole weight loss challenge to promote the gym and to get new members there and that's what we got so you don't think you should cover this expense fifteen dollars the thousand dollars no do you feel you should I cover just, it i just told you that it's covered yes i know you told her it was covered but she don't listen she's so dead set on having her way and having her last say that we even get a resident from the audience come up and be like here's a five here's the fifteen dollars i'll pay for it because that's how ridiculous it was for her to bring this up but that's how tiffany henyard is she needs the last word and she needs to feel right okay all the time that being said, let's go ahead and get back up to date with this meeting because she's not done talking, you guys. 
And again, if you want your kid to sign up for after school, please sign them up. And you can see Ebony over there at the same number, 708-596-6040. Uh, and they all have their own extensions. I don't know them by heart, but make sure you just dial the number to get the services that you need. One thing I'm real big on is feeding the community. We need food. But you guys have to know that Thornton Township has a food pantry for you. These are things I created because I kept. Don't nobody get themselves more work if they did not care. That's another thing y'all need to ask yourself. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and drink that water, girl. I know you parched. I, I know grifting takes a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. Let's go. It should be love for all. And right now, it's not. It's, it's targeted towards certain people, and I don't appreciate that. It needs to make sure that everybody gets the benefits here at Thorn Township. Because, again, it's only five cents of your taxpayer dollars. They don't even tell you that. Five cents compared to what a community really charges on, on a tax levy. And I tell you, for you, a lot of times people don't know. So they just go off of what they heard. Go for you the information and learn for yourself. Educate yourself. See, for some people who might be very, very new to this whole Tiffany Hanyard saga, and they might hear her talk and they might be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. She's just trying to tell the people, educate yourself. The information's there. Why don't they just FOIA the information, like she said? And what FOIA means for you guys who don't know, it's the Freedom of Information Act. Uh, basically information from your local government is supposed to be available to you information that's within reason of course so that being said let's take a look at what happens when people try to FOIA information from Tiffany's administration WGN is suing the village of Dalton for refusing to follow open records laws and release spending records. Last year, WGN Investigates sent Dalton an open records request seeking copies of the agency's credit card statements as well as records relating to Mayor Henyard's compensation in the cost of her taxpayer-funded vehicle. But Dalton has declined to release the documents. After WGN Investigates appealed, Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul's office ordered Dalton to release the records by mid-March. But that deadline came and went. WGN is now asking a judge to order Dalton to comply. The lawsuit was filed this week in Cook County Circuit Court. Mayor Henyard's publicity agency has not provided a comment. And I tell you, for you, a lot of times people don't know, so they just go off of what they heard. Go for you the information and learn for yourself. Educate yourself. You know, that is one thing I will agree with her on. Educate yourselves, residents of Thornton Township and residents of Dalton. Educate yourselves on who Tiffany Henyard really is, especially if you're a supporter of hers. Don't sell out for the big screen TVs, the washers and dryers, and big bingo. Educate yourself on who this individual is, how she behaves. How she behaved as a trustee is no different than how she behaves now as a mayor and as a supervisor. Very disrespectful, very loud, very obnoxious, and let her tell it she's never wrong. She's not humble at all despite her claims that she is you guys check out this clip so my goal as this young mayor as everybody keep putting my youth before my wisdom i am young but i'm wise beyond my years i had a ton of mentors i've been in here uh, all my life 35 years and i've been in the trenches y'all to sell me grow from a hectic trustee talking mess outrageous to um this humble uh bright young lady that i am today yeah so that's her little leadership voice you know when she's telling people that oh she's grown into this young humble ray of sunshine that <laughs> i can't even continue the sentence because descri <laughs> describing that and then picturing her the the words just don't match up with the image okay you guys get the point all right she's far from humble we know that we see that but my thing is most of her supporters are older people okay and, you know, I was raised to respect my elders. But my thing is, where are their standards for Tiffany Henyard? They see how she acts. Are they just okay with her behavior because she gives them big bingo? She gives them free washers, dryers, golf clubs, whatever. They're okay with that? They're okay with the way she acts, the way she talks to people? Maybe they're, maybe they're okay with that. Not everybody's raised on the same standards, okay? I was raised, you treat people how you want to be treated. And she... Uh, Okay, let's let's not even go there. Okay, I'm not gonna go there today. But let's go ahead and get back to this. Um, I won't even call it a meeting, of course. Um, this rant. Let's see what else she has to say. As they say, put it in the book. We will not find it. That is so true. 
We are so misled with misinformation that I feel bad for my community. Also, bilingual. I care about that. That matters in my township. You know how many uh, Hispanics that's in our community that cannot understand English and vice versa? You should definitely fact check because y'all supposed to be journalism. So we have to learn and teach our kids that, hey, here's the uh, opportunity to learn something for free. Don't sit here and put negative or dishonest comments out about Thorne Township because that's not true. Because y'all all judging, meaning people out there are judging off of hearsay, false allegations, and not facts. Get facts first and then make your, your judgment. But it's sad when I see older people than me doing that. It's sad when I see people that I should look up to for wisdom being cat, you have to be the example. You cannot sit here and yell at us and say this and say that in the future. Listen, we're not gonna listen to you because you're not the example that we want to follow. These are the problems in our community. These are the things we should be talking about, but we're not because we're too busy pointing fingers and bickering off he say, she say stuff. If y'all say things are going on, let the process take its course. But until then, Pay attention to what's really being developed and produced in your community. And that's people loving on people. It's a shame that they stop being up. Pay attention. And I am okay with talking to those that want to show the different narrative. I don't talk to the news because y'all are so negative. Y'all one-sided stories. I don't like it. You don't let nobody tell their story without you cutting it up, chopping it up, adding this in it, putting this in it to make it sell for what you want it for. That's not what we do here at Thorn Township. Just like all this I'm saying right here, I'm pretty sure you're going to cut it, chop it, and, and make a segment. And that's what it goes for on the news. Cut it, chop it, and, and make a segment. Cut it, chop it, and, and make a segment. And that's what it goes for on the news. And that's what it goes for on the news. Cut it, chop it, and, and make a segment. Cut it, chop it, and, and make a segment. Cut it. You guys know I couldn't resist, right? Mm -hmm. She wants the attention anyway. We already know that. So that being said, I think we've given her enough of our time for her to sit there and brag about or say what she's done for the township and how great she is. So we're going to go ahead and end it here. I don't want it to get too long. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave it a like. And if you're new here, Subscribe, subscribe. I've been a trustee for two terms, going both my seats back to back. Then after that, I ran for mayor, won that by 82% that they hate on. Man slide. So that means y'all wanted to change. And then God blessed me and placed me here in 2022, becoming the first female, youngest, African-American supervisor of the largest township in the state of Illinois. That's what all the hate is all about. It's all about your super mayor became too powerful too quick.